Hey naturals, how's it going? Welcome to Go Natural English. I'm your teacher, Gabby, here, and I want to let you know one of the best things you can do for your English fluency is practice online with our partners, italki. You can find out how to get a special Go Natural English learner lesson for free after you pay for your first one at gonaturalenglish.com slash italki. In this episode, I want to share with you five ways that you can make your note-taking better for learning English. So when you're taking classes, whether they're online with italki or online with another of our partners or maybe in a live English class, you should be taking notes. That's obvious, right? So if you're not taking notes, don't worry, you can start now. But if you've been taking notes for a while, I bet that you could improve them. So if you'd like to learn five ways to improve them, keep listening. First of all, this is something that I did with my notes for learning Spanish and other languages that helped me a lot. Normally, you just write down the word that you hear, like a new vocabulary word, right? And you write down exactly how it's spelled, the way your teacher writes it on the board, or the way your teacher types it to you, right? Now, what you want to do to improve your notes is write down how the word sounds to you. Some students know about the international phonetic alphabet and learning those symbols can help you to understand and remember the way that we actually pronounce the words like natural native English speakers. But if you don't know the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, then go ahead and write the word down as you hear it. What makes sense to you? Write it down exactly how you think it sounds to you. The spelling could be completely wrong and it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Next, number two, another thing you can do to improve your notes is write down an example. How did your teacher or the person, the native, the natural, fluent English speaker, how did they use the word that you want to remember? Write down an example in a phrase so that you not only remember the word, but you remember how to use it. Okay, next, I want you to write the meaning, but you don't have to write a full dictionary meaning. You can just write a few words that mean something similar or help you to remember the meaning as you're going to use the word in real life. Finally, I want you to say the word out loud as soon as you hear it. This might be repeating after your teacher, or it might be looking at your notes and saying it softly under your breath, or even if you have to, if you're shy, say it in your mind. And finally, number five, as soon as you're done studying English, as soon as your class comes to an end, quickly review your notes, read through your notes so that you will remember them better. And when you open your notebook for your next lesson, take a minute to look over and review your notes from last time. So these five tips will make your vocabulary in English and your fluency much stronger. The next time that you take a lesson with our partner italki, you can impress your teacher with how much you've learned. So remember, write down how it sounds to you, write an example, write the meaning quickly, say the word out loud, and review a couple of times. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, you can learn how to get one free online lesson at gonaturalenglish.com slash italki. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.